Hi everyone, welcome to How to Electronics. In this tutorial, we will make a GSM based prepaid energy meter using Arduino. Prepaid electricity energy meter is a good concept in which you can recharge its balance as we do on our mobile phones. You can recharge the electricity balance through this system just by sending an SMS. It can also disconnect the home power supply connection if there is a low or zero balance in the system. And this system will read the energy meter readings and automatically send some updates to the user's mobile phone like low balance alert, cutoff alert, resume alert and recharge alert. So let us see how we can build this project. Do you want professional PCBs like this one that looks so good then use the services of next PCB. You can select the board size, any solder mask color that you want including something like red and green. You can select the thickness and the PCB could be from 2 up to 32 layers for some more complex design. The finish quality is so good and if you want better connectivity, you could also select some gold finish for the pads. The ordering process is so easy. Just go to nextpcb.com then quit now. Insert your design setting, upload your cover files and order now. And receive the PCB in a couple of days. Welcome back again. Let's see what do we need for this project. The first thing we need is this analog electricity energy meter. Then an Arduino Uno board, 16 cross 2 LCD display, I square C adapter for LCD display, SIM 800 or SIM 900 GSM module, 5 volt relay module, 4 and 3 5 opto coupler IC. Limit switch. A 10 kilo ohm resistor. This is the circuit diagram for this project. The analog electricity energy meter input terminal is connected to 220 volt AC power supply. Its output terminal is connected to the output of the relay. All the loads are also connected to the relay as shown in the circuit. The most important thing is how do you connect the meter to the Arduino. For this, open the meter first. At the back of the meter, there is a pulse LED or call LED terminals which are basically cathode and anode. You need to solder two wires to these terminals. After this, connect the anode and cathode terminal of the LED at pin number 1 and pin number 2 of the optocoupler. Now, this optocoupler is connected to digital pin D2 of Arduino. The LCD display is connected to I2C pins and GSM UART pin is connected via software serial to digital pins 11 and 12 of Arduino. The GSM module requires 9 volt power supply. Hence, the GSM and Arduino both are powered via 9 volt DC adapter. The relay buzzer and limit switch is connected to D8, D7 and A0 of Arduino. Remember to take precaution as this circuit is dangerous due to AC mains. As shown here, I have assembled the circuit in a combined board here. At the top only, the analog meter and LCD display are shown. Inside the box, I placed Arduino board, GSM module, relay and optocoupler are placed together. There is the limit switch which is used to check whether the box is opened or not and prevent theft. These four bulbs are the load that is connected to the meter board that increases the electricity consumption. Let's close this box and connect the load to the AC supply. But before showing you the demo, let's go through the code part first. We are using the EEPROM library here. This is to store all the current and previous values related to electricity consumption in the EEPROM memory. Even after powering it off and on repeatedly, the memory still retails the value. This I2C LCD with an address of 
Zero Cross 27 is used for LCD display. We connected GSM via software serial pins 10 and 11. The buzzer relay and limit switch is connected to pin 7, 8 and A0 of Arduino. Then we defined some integers and characters values along with pricing and power consumption variable. The phone number can be set here. You need to make some changes and assign phone numbers here. Under the setup function, we initialize serial begin, gsm begin and declare all the pins as input or output. Then we display some characters on LCD screen. Using the AT commands, the GSM connects to the network and gets ready to activate via SMS. The EEPROM also initializes and stores the assigned function's initial values to its memory addresses. Under the loop function, we activate the GSM module and send some characters like A, T, R, E, C and S to read the meter value. Sending commands 1, 2, 3 and 4 will update the pricing value. The rest of the code is little long and functionalities related to meter reading and reading the data on EEPROM are implemented. Also the function related to limit switch for anti-theft detection is also implemented in the code. Alright, it's time to upload the code now. For this, from the tools menu, select the Arduino Uno board. Select the COM port and then finally hit the upload button to upload the code. Once the code uploading is done, you can start testing the project. When the device is powered on, the LCD will display the unit pulse and prices at zero. Now, we need to send an SMS to operate this device. Before that, we need to resource this meter as there is no money to operate this device. You can resource 100, 200, 300 and 400 at a single time. With the resourced money, the electricity load will always be active as long as the amount does not reach to zero. So here is my mobile screen. Let me resource it first. So I will type ATRECH1. This means I am recharging with 100. 1 means 100 and if you want to recharge it with 200, simply replace 1 with 2. If you send this message, you will receive a feedback message. The message states the recharge is done and the same thing is displayed on the LCD screen. And also the load is turned on now. As long as the pulse LED blinks, the counting goes on and pulse count is displayed on LCD screen. Also, there is a deduction in the recharged amount. We also set the limit to 60. As the amount goes to 60, the GSM will send an SMS saying the balance is low and you need to resource it again. So basically, it is an indication as well as a warning. When the power consumption increases and the price goes further down, a time comes when the resourced amount reaches zero. In this instance, the load will turn off and there is an electricity cutoff. Immediately, you will receive an SMS saying the balance is finished and you need to resource it again. The similar process continues again and again. For example, if you want to recharge with 200, you need to send the SMS again with the same command. Let me show you the demo by recharging 300. The SMS command is ATRECH3. 3 means 300. Now, as soon as I send the SMS, the recharge of 300 is down. There is a feedback message saying your recharge of 300 is down. At the same time, the load has turned again. Also, the LCD displayed the same unit. Pulse and price again. This process continues even after there is a power cut. This is because the last pulse count and price value are stored in the EEPROM of the microcontroller. Alright, that's all from the video part today. I hope you like this project. 
The complete project details, including device information, purchase link, source code and return guide can be followed in the How to Electronics website article. In case you have any other questions, you can comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.